Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the, the River Air. I'm just down for a couple of hours and uh, basically what I've done is I've set up I've got my dry fly cast the dry fly, basically a tapered leader down to 4 pound and I've got a large dry fly, I've got a dynamite harry march brown there and I'm using that as a sighter and off the bend of the, the hook I've got two nymphs because I'm going to be trying for the grayling I mean, I've, while I've set up, I've not seen any fish rise. I mean, if there were fish rising, I wouldn't be putting any nymphs on. So I've got two nymphs. Uh, basically, I've got a tungsten bead, I've got a three mil. This is just a suggestive type pattern, yellow, olive. It's turkey by it, with a silver bead on it. And off the bend of that, I've got a small cross bug, or a wee... It's just basically... Ostrich hero, natural, a wee bit of peril in the back. So there's, that's just sort of three flies. And they're tied to three pound nylon. So I'm just going to try in, I'm going to come in here and then just fish up up the river. Uh, use the dries, obviously, as a dry fly. And as well as a scyther to my two nymphs. It's, I've set it up in the way so that if it fish if it start rising I can actually change quite quick straight to the dry but um, as I say I'm fishing for grayling and I want to get down a wee bit and at the same time I'm fishing the dry I see there's a yellow bagtail there there is the odd fly but there's an awful lot of this foam in the water which is, I don't like to see to be honest with you uh, it's just the way it is. You, get it you do get it time to time. So the river here is a, it's a nice water for both trout and grayling. I've not fished the river as much uh, because it's been so warm. Uh, oh, me minnows having a go at my dry. So it's quite shallow there. I say, I'm just going to work my way up. Just allow the, the, the nymphs to sink, obviously. Get down to the, where the grayling are lying. And uh, see how we go. And just, just slowly, it's a wee bit harder to cast when you've got two sort of weighted nymphs. Both are weighted, uh, obviously, the tungsten bead. And the wee cross bugs got a wee bit of lead in in the dressing to get it down. I mean it's a size, it's small. It's maybe too small but I'll try it. It's a, I think it's a size 18 or 20 or even. But there is sometimes a, it works. Just gonna try and right close here. Oop. Fish do rise quite close here if they're, or they sit quite close to these rocks. All I'm going to do is I can spend an hour or so or two just searching. And if I do see a, rise, a fish rising, I'll change to the dry. All I'm doing is just searching across. There's a nice run in the far side there, but it's a little bit too far away, but we'll get a cast. Just cast upstream and keep in contact with your, your line, just pull the line in as it comes towards you and then let it swing. You can let it swing round. Um, if 
to catch a, a grayling I'd be happy, uh, basically what I'm fishing for really. I take it in, I mean I wouldn't mind a brown trout, but the method I'm using, I do catch a lot of grayling on. And all you're looking for is your dry fly suddenly disappearing, or just tap, stop, then you, you're going to be ready to strike. Dynamite Harry is a good pattern, uh, it's, a good, it's a good dry fly, it's, it's very good for supporting other flies as you can see it's sitting, well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's sitting up quite nice. Uh, Quite hard to see a dry fly in amongst the foam. Uh, in the bottom there. Let's try on the far side here. Can't see the fly. on the bottom there, so if you do tap the bottom, always check your nymph, you can see there, a bit of weed, so the use of having weed round your fly, I think that fly is a bit small. I'll change the point fly, I think. It's just a wee bit small. I'm looking at the colour of the river, it's it's quite dark, so I'm putting a brighter fly, I think. So, on the point, just because of the colour, I mean, it is. It's quite dark, the river, so, see if it makes any difference. Touch the bottom again, so I'm going to move up a bit. Just 
Check the flag again. Always check, especially if you tap the bottom. And there's a bit of weed in the river. So you've got to, unfortunately, keep checking your fly. Uh, but if you don't, you'll not catch any fish. Take the, there's a bit of weed in there, so... It's a lot of weed. As I say, the only way to get down to the fish is to use the weight it flies. And the conditions are winds picking up, so the, the rain's going to be coming in soon by the sound, by the feels of it. We're meant to get rain today. That's why I'm running up to get fish for a couple of hours before. The rain starts. I'm going to get quite a lot of rain. The next day or two. So there we go. We grilling. Good. So I've changed into the heavier fly. So it's doing the, it's doing the beaded nymph. So, so wait, that's good. So back out. Hopefully we'll get one or two more before the rain comes. Uh, I thought we were going to get one or two fish there, so just that one there. There's still time, there's still, I mean, the fish can get right up into this fast water. But uh, I thought I may have one or two more. But. Let's dig up a wee bit here. That was a bottom. Go back. Again. Check for weed. It's fine. Fishing my shorter line now, it's much easier to see. Oh, 
方式。What was the bottom? <sighs> the less line in the water, the less drag you have on your fly. So and get your the flies down in the faster water. Oh, big lump of weed. We're getting down anyway, so... Oops, we're in the bottom here. So, quite shallow here. Get my fly. Just the one fish there. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, it's really none. But anyway. Just. Oh. Fly out here. I want to try just on the camera on the far side. So Okay, what we'll do is I'm gonna get up and fish. Let's run in front of me here and under the bridge obviously. I'm just gonna fish quite close here. Bottom there. Oh. 
in the bottom. The only problem with an infant like this is you do tend to uh, lose an odd fly. I don't know why I come up, but I've got to. There we go. I'll come back down. I'll just check my flies. I mean, they could be fish right in front of me here, so anyway. Oh, are we fresh? Oh, no way. It was a wee good island, actually. Go back in. Oh, is there one fish there? So there was. This fish up here. Some weed. It's quite a deep hole in front of me here. So it is. And uh, there we go. Jeez, ah. lost it. Right under me. That was a. Oh, I don't know what that was really. I never had a chance to see it. It's quite hard to actually see a fly but to see the take anyway Close to the ridge here. Just having a wee walk down to see if I can see any any fish rising. Uh, just in the camber water anyway. There's really not much happening. I don't know if I've had a car two or three fish on. Uh, which in less than an hour or so is not too bad. 
Bueno, no me ha pasado nada. So, it's been good to see uh, one or two fish moving, but there's nothing really. Or nothing at all, anyway. So I'm a wee quick walk down. It's a wee bit rough down here, as you can probably see. Um, I'll have a look. But uh, I'm not going through a jungle to catch fish. So I'll have a look anyway. Really nothing, nothing happened at all. There's a wee run down here, I'll have a wee quick have a look to see. See what's happening. It's not easy going this path. There's a nice run there, so I may have a cast in there just to see what happens. I mainly catch and dries in here, but the fish are usually moving. Let me see. I don't want to roll down this hill. Let's see what's a lot of nettles around. Just take my time, just gracefully fall down, as I say. Just take my time, yeah. One of the trees are down on the, on the river here. So, I'm not sure how deep it is in this part. Got a lot of stickers below the surface here. Uh, probably better from the other side. Yeah, I've crossed over. And uh, I'm just going to fish below the tree here. Just going to fish in front of me slowly, work my way down. You see, this is a can be a good pool when there's uh, the fish are rising. A good hatch of flies. It's nice to get deep now. I want to fish close to the tree here. It's a good spot. Dry my fly. Bit of strong wind. Shallow there yet. I see I might, what I might do is take off the point fly just fish the nymph below the surf, just not go just as deep because I don't think it's just as shallow, so that's what I'll do it's quite easy to just pull it round the bend so I've got one nymph, which is a good three foot below the dry you just pull it round, the, it's a barbless hook and uh, then we can work from that, make it easier It's better, my dry's sitting a bit better now. So I'm just gonna searching and uh so see there's nothing oh. you get close to the tree here.
It's poking rain. I've seen some really nice fish rising in here, and I've had some nice brown trout, mainly further down. Like I'm gonna just concentrate on the main run, but and hopefully might pick up a trout of grayling. Cast our way up the stream. A bit further, we'll get the nymph right down. I think that was a wee trout there. It was fast, it was shot away, so there we go. Ah! That was two fish and two casts, maybe I found some fish. Maybe one or two grayling lying in there. Just give it a good two or three goes through. You see, close to the tree there is a good area, like we're going to get fish at all. I mean, if it's Grayling there, usually a wee shoal of grayling. It's just a matter of finding them. And if that was grayling, there'd be, there'd be more than one, so that's why I was trying to... Yeah. The wind is catching the fly. Uh, we fished this as good as we could with a couple of takes uh, with my fish on and off I think that was our only chance I think it's been really quiet uh, just a wee quick cast to the far side Close to there's always should be a fish close to these branches or this tree it's fallen. Just where I hooked that last that fish in there. Swim through beside it. Oh that one down. I don't know if it was drag or what. Yeah, we'll get again. I think it must be the bottom. Oh, I'm really close to the tree here. Well, the branches are right behind me, so we need to be careful.
but I think what we'll do is we'll well that's what two hours of fished and uh, the more than two and a half hours more. We'll head up. quick cash from this side You can actually see the colour of the water here, it's, it's really dark, so it is. It's, uh, oh, a wee trout rose, <laughs> just a wee fish, a rose to my, my dry. shallow there. It's probably the reason why I'm not picking up so many fish, because the water would be so coloured. We'll see. Go down and down quick. Here we go. Nice grilling. Spring it in. Quite a nice fish this. Just let it settle. Grilling just don't want to settle. Right in the top lip. It's my weight. There you go, that was worthwhile coming up and casting to that side. That was quite a good grilling, it was a good three quarters of a pound in that one. It seemed to be in the, the slack of water anyway, that one was. Pop it back out. Usually there's one, there's two. Especially with grilling, anyway.
I'm fishing quite close to myself here. Uh, there's a wee channel runs down there. Normally they grail and lie further over, but uh, they're getting that one there, the chances are. There won't be one or two quite close, so. We'll move over a wee bit, at least we've well, we got one, it was worthwhile having a cast. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and again, thanks again for all your comments and kind words. Mm -hmm.